Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to take a first look at the game Cattails Wildwood Story, which is an amalgamation of two of my favorite game genres. We have Life Sim mixed with a bit of survival, as well as RPG. There is a bit of a story to this one and it's also a dating sim because the cats can date each other. How fun is this? Now, there have been other Cattails games. I have one that I've played on the Nintendo Switch years ago, and this one, just after playing the demo and after playing the beta release, I'm telling you, there are tons of customizations. You can make the game cozy, with very easy hunting and relaxed days, or you can speed it up and give yourself a challenge. It's all about what you want to make of Cattails, and I'm really excited to share the gameplay with you. Keep in mind, this is still technically the beta version of the game because it doesn't release for a few more days. On October 20th, 2023, it will come out for PC on Steam. Now you switch players, it is coming for Nintendo Switch, but you're going to have to wait a little bit longer. The Switch release of the Cattails Wildwood story is not set until 2024. So let's go ahead and hop right into Cattails and see how positively awesome it might be. And here we go on our Cattails Wildwood story adventure. We get to create our kitty. I think I am going to name this one after my cat. Paisley. I think if we, yes, there we go. We can make her eyes different colors now. I don't remember for sure whether her right eye is the green one or her left eye. We're just gonna go with this choice. It looks close enough. We are going to apply it and she is a white kitty. So we are just going to leave it. However, can we make her body type a little bit different? Her torso, she's kind of fluffy. Hmm. <laughs> Short hair, fluffy, slender. She's definitely not slender. Um, we're gonna go with a little bit fluffy, and we are going to make her face fluffy, large. We're gonna go with fluffy. Ears, short hair, tail. We can make a downward tail, a fluffy up tail. Um, hmm. I think an upwards tail would be friendlier. We're going to go with fluffy. Oh, we get cat voices. Oh my gosh. There are 10 different cat voices. We're going to go with cat voice eight. I think that's fairly close to her voice and you can change the pitch. Wow. Um, we're just going to leave it. We're going to apply it. We can choose accessories. Now we can give her flowers. Glasses, whiskers, Both cats have whiskers, but these are thicker and more pronounced. Yeah, we're gonna give her extra thick whiskers because that's super cute. A collar, you bet. Can we choose different colors? Maybe not. A bell? Oh yeah, we need a bell on her collar. A face scar, no. Paisley's pretty friendly. Glasses, look at the glasses. They show her eye color. They make her eye color more pronounced. Yeah, we're gonna leave those off. A white flower. Do we want a white flower? Yeah, sure. We'll give her a little flower too. Okay. Anything else we want to customize here? Look at all the different colors you can make your cat. Wow. You can add a new color coat. You can make one yourself. That's really cool. Okay, we are going to go with this. We have our kitty Paisley, who is going to be our main character. Select your game difficulty and other accessibility options. You can change these later at any time from in-game pause menu. Did they name it the pause menu on purpose? I think they did. We are going to go with easy because, oh, there's even, oh. So it's kitten, easy, normal, hard, and impossible. Um, do we wanna, mm, I don't wanna do normal. I wanna make it a little more chill. Do we want to go easy or kitten? I think we're good. Let's just go with easy. We can change that at any time. Time passage. You can make it more relaxed. We're going to go more relaxed. I don't think I want to go quick or normal. Hunt mode. 
We're going to go with quick time on that. Random enemies, whether or not random roving packs of enemies will spawn throughout the world. Oh, um, I'm going to turn it off. I'm going to try to make this a pretty cozy experience for us. Spiders? Yeah, we'll keep those as normal. I'm okay with those. You can change the font, light flashes, and lightning. You can turn those off. When on, your character will automatically run when moving. Yeah, let's try that. Okay, here are our settings. Let's get started. Once upon a time, three great cat colonies lived in a plentiful land. For generations, they thrived, hunting the critters of the region and harvesting the fruits of the forest. Sometimes the colonies bickered and fought, but each of their leaders shared a respect for the spiritual mediator of their world the Forest Guardian. The world of the Guardian was law, and all the cats revered them. From the sacred temple, the Guardian kept the balance over the Catlands, working for the benefit of all. The cats of the forest thrived. They played in the meadows and ruled over the hills. They built strong walls and gathered prey for winter. But one fateful day, calamity struck. In an instant, the temple was shattered. A terrible earthquake tore the stones from their ancient resting places. A horrible rift was ripped open in the ground. Every cat shuddered with fear. Worse than the destruction of the land was the fading of its guardian. With a weak voice, the forest guardian announced that the land was no longer safe for any cat. A new home must be found and a new temple must be built or else the guardian's spirit would not survive. Then the spirit of the guardian flickered and vanished. The frightened cats mourned and did not know what to do. A great meeting was called and all the cats of the forest attended. Together, they deliberated long over what must be done. The decision was reached that each cat should choose for themselves a leader to follow and set out to find new lands to settle. Maybe some would have the strength to build a better life? You Paisley, a cat of great renown, offered to lead a group into the unknown and build both a new home and a new temple. Soon, cats from every colony took up your call, once enemies, now united by a common cause. You all set out to find a patch of earth to call your own. But the wilderness is fraught with danger and there are threats on all sides. What will become of your colony? Will you lead them into a prosperous new era? Will you find the perfect place to build a home? Only time will tell. And so our Cat Tales Wildwood story begins. We are starting the tutorial. We have our little cat colony here. We are looking for a place to live, which apparently I have to decide where our new colony is going to be. Right now we need to find some valerian to make Spark here feel better. This is part of the tutorial. We need to go south of the brook. So here we go with our brook and we are looking for valerian. Oh, pick up the valerian, A to pick up. We're just gonna gather all of it here. So now we are going to give our valerian to Spark. Spark is feeling better already. <laughs> Now we are going to go with Coco and try to hunt some mice, but before we can get to the mice, we have to pass through these gusty winds. I'm supposed to learn how to dodge? Basically that's jumping it, looks like. The clearing where I saw the mice is just to the south. I'll meet you there. Okay, here we go. We're sneaking. And we pressed the right trigger at the right time and we have caught our mouse. That takes a little bit of coordination, but it's not too hard. Your hunger bar is in the lower left-hand corner of the screen. It looks like a fish. 
As you play, your hunger bar will decrease over time. You'll need to eat regularly so you won't take damage. Pick up the mouse. Oh no, we're eating it. We're eating the mouse. I feel kind of badly. <laughs> Wait, oh, here we go. Pick up the mouse, open their inventory. We have the mouse and then we press X to eat it. Oh my gosh, that filled up my hunger bar. Look on the bottom left. You just can't think about it. I know it sounds kind of gross. It looked like it was tasty. Oh, it was, Coco. <laughs> oh no. I think this is an enemy cat. It doesn't look friendly. It looks like you're on your own for this fight. I can't get to you through this wall. You can do it. Keep a level head. So we're fighting. Use your claws. We're gonna swipe. Be quick and agile. Right trigger is attack. Oh, this is a void cat. We're just gonna try to beat the smithereens out of it. Now I do have it set to easy, I think. So that was pretty bearable. Oh, we've got more. We're not done yet. Oh, we have to do a charged attack. Hold right trigger to charge attack, then release it. Oh dear. I can't get them far enough away from me. Here we go. I got him. So we've found our Valerian. We have learned to catch mice. We've learned to dodge or jump. And we have learned to fight. <laughs> Greetings, Paisley. I cannot long manifest my presence here, but I have chosen this moment to appear before you with fateful news. Oh. It is good to see you again, Coco, my old friend. Soon my power will wane once more. Without a temple constructed, I have no place to tether myself to the physical realm. Ooh, sounds like a quest. But I have come with cheerful tidings. Tomorrow you will all settle into your new permanent home. I have foreseen it. We are not far now. Then a new temple shall be constructed and I shall abide with you all once more. A permanent settlement? This is wonderful. I speak for all of us when I say that we are ready to be home at last. But what are the Voidling Cats? Is it safe to build our town so close to such a threat? Do not fear the Voidling Cats. Dangerous though they may be, I will teach you to overcome their power. Their very presence is the reason why I believe we must settle here. In time, you will understand. In ages long past, this region was known as the Wildwood. It has been uninhabited since time immemorial. When I felt the presence of the Voidling Cats, I had a sudden premonition that there is some good that we will be able to accomplish here. It is no mistake that you have journeyed to this land. Paisley, I will teach you to speak with my voice so that you will have the power over the Voidling Cats. The skill I am about to teach you is known as Lion's Roar. Use it when in danger and your enemies will scatter. Skills are powerful abilities that will aid you as you play. You can learn and improve many different skills over time. Activate Lion's Roar, flick the right stick to the left. Oh, okay, use my, oh, there we go. It's my right stick. You have done well, Paisley. With time and experience, you will be able to improve your Lion's Roar and use it with even greater effect. We have learned our lion's roar to help fend off the voidling cats and all of us are excited because our new permanent home is just a day away. And apparently I get to choose what part of Wildwood we settle in. The latest scouting reports are right here. These are the spots that would make a suitable home. If I remember right from the demo, we have quite a few options to choose from. Forest has pine and oak woodlands, a welcoming home and hospitable place to build. Or we can choose the meadow with a gentle river 
flowing through the flowery field. That one's pretty too. Oh, swamp. I don't know about the swamp. It's mysterious and overrun with wild willows and weeds. The beach is an inland lagoon surrounded by sandy beaches and a tropical vegetation. Hmm. And then volcano. Dark basalt rock and flowing lava. Dangerous and uninviting. Who would want to settle there? Forest or river? Hmm. I'm thinking the meadow. I think in the demo I went with forest, so I'm going to be a little bit different now. And we are going to go in the meadow. We are going to choose choice two. That looks like an ideal spot to settle. Great choice, Paisley. Now that we have a home, we're starting to feel like a real colony again. What are we going to call ourselves? Oh, what are we going to call ourselves? This isn't very creative at all. <laughs> but I think we are going to go with the Whisker Alliance. We get to choose a colony emblem? So many choices. I love that. Oh, that's cute. I think we're going to go with 20. That one speaks to me. I love the colors in that one. Yep, this is going to be our shield. We are going to be the Whisker Alliance. You can choose all these different titles. Colony, Domain, Kingdom, Tribe, the Whisker Tribe. Uh, I don't know if we could change this later. I think I like Alliance. The Whisker Alliance and I am going to be the captain. You can also change that title. Warlord. <laughs> okay, that one's kind of funny. I'm just going to go with Captain. And this is what we're going to be. We are going to be the Whisker Alliance. We are going to travel to our new home tomorrow. Let's all hear a cheer for Paisley, Captain of the Whisker Alliance. There is so much customization in this game. This is our new home. Home at last. We've all worked very hard to establish the town, haven't we? This is your new den, Paisley. I hope the location is all right. If not, you can always move it later. Good to know. We have a bed, a calendar, a scratching post to train your skills. It wants me to sleep. We have a record player. I don't know what this is. We have our scratching post. And I think this is our bed. This looks like a great spot to curl up and sleep for a while. Yes. Let's go ahead and go to sleep. I'm assuming this is what saves our game. Auto saved. And we have our first day in our new home. We have a record player. There must be music we can find or buy. Interesting. While you stare into the depths, you can hear kindly voices calling out to you with words of wisdom. Hello, Paisley. How are you? I'd like to tell you more about herbs today. There are so many varieties of plants to be found in the wilderness. All types have useful properties and a wise cat will study each to learn what benefits it can provide. Golden seal and marigold can tend to your wounds. I'm going to forget this. Golden seal and marigold if I get hurt. And to treat poisonous injuries. Valerian can energize any cat and increase your movement speed. Valerian's for speed and energy. I'm going to forget this. Peppermint can mask your scent and make it easier to sneak around. What? Different herbs for different seasons. Is this like our pool of wisdom? I think it is. We have our calendar. There's only 10 days in a season. Wow. Okay. We have a storage compartment in here. I don't know what these are. This is not just a scratching post. Look at this. You can choose which skills you want to upgrade. I see how we do this. We have our tasks. This is our map. We have so much to uncover. And it shows your influence in the different areas. Look, these all have different names. Rivervale, West Central, Birch Holt. Very cool. There's one final thing we need to do before the Whisker Alliance is officially moved in. We need to construct a new temple so that the Forest Guardian has a place to live. Without the Guardian, we won't have guidance and protection from the harsh wilderness around us. Let's pick a spot for the temple. Oh dear. 
This is the founder's stone. From here, you can manage all of the details of our alliance. So this is like the mayor's office in Animal Crossing, I think. <laughs> you can move buildings, view our stockpiles, change administrative details. It's an important place for the captain to visit often. We're going to use the stone to place the temple. Pick a spot, any open plot will do. This is the build menu. Use this menu to place or move buildings, paths, decor, and more. Place the temple building anywhere to continue. It looks like we pretty much have to place it right here. We have our temple and now I am supposed to explore our town. Plenty of hunting, lots of herbs, foraging outside of town. Stop by and say hello. Whenever you're ready, come to the temple. We can formally welcome the forest guardian like we have another cat up here. Ellie lives up here. Hey, Ellie. If you are ever unhappy with your name, come see me. I can change it for you. We have the temple. We'll go to that later. Let's see what's up here. We have our festival plaza. Aw. Very colorful and cute. I love it. Now, I think if we want... Oh, that's my meow button. <laughs> if we take a look at our map, you can see I am... Ooh. I am really close to a battle. I don't know. If, do I want to get involved in that? I'm not so sure. Looks like I can't go anywhere up here. Oh, wait. Can I catch this? We did. We caught a ladybug. I caught a legendary bug. Oh. I wonder if I should eat it or sell it. <laughs> you can catch bugs. You can catch mice. There's herbs to collect. You can walk through the water. I love that. I love you can actually go through the water. Even though it's pixel graphics, which typically aren't my favorite, it's really cute. I love the customization. Oh, let's see if we can catch this one. We got a yellow ladybug. We're gonna pick that up. Let's go this way. View colony stockpiles. That's right. I think we're supposed to contribute to the stockpile. Yeah, you can donate items. I don't have anything right now. I can donate val valerian? All right, we'll donate one. I don't know if we get any reward for that. And we have construction projects to work on. Oh, wow. Look at all these tunnels. Hunting compendium. Tools. Improved roofing. I love that we have all of this we can unlock. Very cool. What is this? Some sort of device. This is a workbench for crafting plant food, dried roots, golden seal seeds. We can make seeds. Oh. We're going to make valerian seeds. Is there farming? Can I plant the seeds? I bet I need a tool. All right, we're not gonna worry about that for right now. What is this? We have Ember's General Store. Ember, I found this peppermint and I was wondering how much I could sell it for. They're having a little conversation here. We have Jag and Ember. I think this is where, oh, wait, does Spark live here? Look at Spark's cute little bed and, what is that? Are those dead bugs? Hey, Spark. Catch any bugs today? Let's chat. I'm assuming that by chatting, I can eventually increase my relationship. Also, if you see Spark, can you tell them that their shift started an hour ago? Being a parent is tough when your kid is so flighty. So Ember is Spark's mom or dad. Visit shop. So this is how you actually buy things. You have to talk with Ember. Modest pockets? Oh, you can increase your pockets and items will stack with up to five. Oh, I want to get that, but I don't have enough money. I have one Mew. Founder Stone, we have the general store. This looks like a bulletin board. It's a task board. Community members can post the requests. What's the shop? Well, you get rewards. What's a power paw? It can make you faster. Look at this. I love the rewards. There's already a lot to do. Let's take a look at the daily tasks. 
Defeat dark candles? Oh. Oh dear. Um, maybe, no. I don't think we're ready for that. We are not. This is West Central. You know what? They didn't change. There's no quick one-button map opening. That is a bit frustrating because I don't know if I'm in a safe territory or not. This is, but above me is not. Let's just see what's up here. I'm a little scared. There might oh, shoot. Did you see that? Let's go look again real quick. I do not want to pick this fight. There's tons of these cats. <gasps> oh. Do we want to join in? Oh dear, we're gonna get hurt. We got one, one down. Two down. Oh dear, this is not good. We're hurt a little bit. We are hurt a little bit. This is not good. My health is not good. I think I need to escape. Can I eat Valerian? Uh, use? I forget what Valerian does. Energizes me, right? I need Golden Seal or Marigold. What happens if I die? Can I actually die? <gasps> oh dear. Every time I come up here, it restarts the fight. Do I have nine lives? This cannot be the end, can it? You must keep fighting. I thought I was almost beating them. <sighs> Hear the muffled sounds of a familiar voice calling out. Oh dear. I need to get better at fighting. This is on easy mode. <laughs> I lost my coins? What? Oh, that's sad. Well, now we know where Krampus lives. This must be Krampus's little bedroom. And we clearly are not very good at fighting. His little science research laboratory. I love it. Thanks, Krampus. I'm not giving up, though. We're changing it to kitten. <laughs> We're seeing if this will make it a little bit easier for me to fight now. I'm going back. Oh, well, they had it almost done. <laughs> we have won a battle. I didn't do much. I got some void marrow. It says the Wildwoods is nothing like where I'm from. I've never seen this many trees in my whole life. I'm still getting used to it. Oh, we're, we met new cats. Oh, hey. Hey, Wiggles. Are they in my posse or not? Oh my gosh, that would be a great name. The posse instead of our alliance. <laughs> I could think of a good name for our posse, but I got to say that I really do like the exploration aspect. Look at all this area. We are tasked to explore and I'm guessing to conquer because look, we won this cat fight and now our alliance kind of has rule over it, I guess. Influence, they call it. But they need a one press map button. They definitely need that. Bug hunting, very easy. Oh, what is this? A bird. I got it. I got my first bird. It's a pigeon. I'm so sorry. Bird lovers, mouse lovers, you're not going to like the fact that uh, cats are catching and eating these things. Ooh, what is this? Is this the mine? It is. We have our cave. Ooh, kind of spooky music. What is this? <gasps> Mosey? 
Well met. To what do I owe the pleasure of your visit today? My stats? Let me find your record. What is this? The deepest level of the mine you've reached is level zero. Oh, so these are our mining records down here. I probably have to get some sort of tools, maybe? Another mole. I love these moles. Mind yourself, lest you find yourself on the pointy end of my sword. Moldrick is watching your every move down here. Are you here for the forge? You can use it if you must, but be careful with my tools. Drop them and I won't be very happy. Capiche? Look at all of the gems you need to make these things. There is so much to do. See that cave behind me over there? Yeah, that one. It's got ore, gemstones, riches beyond your wildest dreams. Yep, it's all true. I just need workers to dig them out and bring them back to me so I can ship them off to corporate. Those claws look sharp enough to break up the boulders and retrieve their contents. The deeper you dig, the better the items you can find. I'll pay you in mole cash for any items you can excavate. The rarer the items, the more I'll pay. Ooh. So do we have another currency? Other than Muse? Go find some gems. A dark cave yawns before you. Oh. Do I want to enter the mine? Um... Yeah, sure. Levels until the next rest stop. 24? What? Oh. So we break rocks. Now we have another level open. Whoa! Found some rock debris. Let's go down one more level. Guess? Well, I think that's good for now. Let's see what Molo has to say. Can we sell any items? Oh. Yeah, we can sell rock debris. And what do we get? Mole cash. Yeah. We're gonna sell all of it. Now, what do I do with mole cash? The shop, here we go. A headlamp is a hundred. I do not have enough for that. I can't buy anything yet. <laughs> but at least we know how we earn money to buy things from the mole. And we have tools up here, mining tools we can get. We probably ought to, have I been here yet? Jag's den. All right. We're just gonna leave that be. Let's check this out really quickly. Anything good down here? I'm a little bit hungry, but not too much. What's that? Oh, a bird. We got it. We got our first fish. It was a carp. I think I might need to increase the hunting difficulty. It is very easy right now, which is good. Ooh, wait, there's my house and I have mail. And there's Ellie. <laughs> Crampy is writing us because we recently visited the clinic. Ooh, we have a gift. Thanks. This. If you're ever looking for work to do, make sure you stop by the task board. We found that. Cats use it to post odd jobs they need. If you complete a task, you will surely be rewarded. We have task tokens that Coco gave us. And then... Mole be the contract mole. If you need more space in your den or want to move your furniture, I'm the mole. Summon me at any time from inside your den. I'll be right there to help. Anytime, day or night. I'm Molby. This reminds me of... Oh, who is the mole from Animal Crossing? Resetti. Wasn't he a mole? That was from the older Animal Crossing. I think Resetti came if you um, didn't save, if you just shut your game down. <laughs> I think we've done enough exploring. It's 2.50 p.m. We are going to go and check out our temple and find the forest guardian. This new temple shall bind me to the physical realm once more. You have done well in its construction. Paisley, Coco, 
I thank you for your efforts. From my new home, I shall watch over our fledgling alliance. There is much to be done here in the Wildwood. Since there are threats on all sides. While I will do everything in my power to protect the town, you must understand that we will never be more vulnerable than we are today. By recruiting new cats, we can strengthen our community and better our chances of survival. This must be our highest priority. It's beautiful, but what exactly is it? This is the pillar of the Wildwood. I have created this powerful object to help us locate and recruit new residents to the Whisker Alliance. There are cats of all varieties who dwell in solitude near the Wildwood. They will join us when they see that together we are stronger than we ever could be alone. Use the Pillar of the Wildwood to discover new cats to recruit to the Alliance. Each cat has different needs that must be met before they are recruited by donating the correct items. You can fulfill those needs. Some cats, once recruited, will use their unique talents to provide new services in town. All will strengthen the power of our community. Every new resident is a victory to be celebrated. This is important work, Paisley. Please visit the Pillar of Wildwood often. That is our highest priority, is recruiting new cats to our alliance, to grow our alliance so we can help protect everything that the Guardian stands for. Oh. Are these cats, individual cats I have to recruit? And what it unlocks? A museum? Squads? What are squads? Gardening? I think I'll just go with the first one. We'll try gardening. Donate all of the required items to recruit this cat to your alliance. Yeah, I have golden seal. I have valerian. I just need to find lavender. Aw. All right. I see how that works. The temple is really pretty cool. We have tasks to do. We have to recruit more kitties to our alliance. What is this? In memory. Oh, dear. Are these all... Oh, oh, these are all dead cats. We have memorials to dead cats. It's kind of sad, but it's kind of cool to see. I love the weather. And the time. Oh, oh, wow. <laughs> Lightning. That scared me. We have a full-on rainstorm. I forget what I was even talking about. You can turn the flashes off. I don't know if I'm supposed... Oh, dear. My health is flashing. Maybe I'm supposed to go inside on days like this. I don't know. Let's see if we have anything we can eat. Listen to the wind howling. I can't eat the bugs? Oh. We're going to eat our fish. That didn't fill me all the way up? We are finally full again. It's only 3 p.m. Just going to do a little bit more foraging and then probably head home. I think the storms, I love the rain and the weather. It really helps to immerse you and feel like you're really exploring. What's this building up here? A strange structure. I wonder what its purpose is. The door does not seem to open. Hmm. Another mystery to solve. Wow, the water is pink. Oh, there's a fish. That looks like a big one. We have a trout. Wow, that's a big guy. I don't know why it's pink. Is it because it's sunset right now? Dinner. Winner, winner. Got another fish up here. The hunting's kind of fun. Oh, I missed that one. Missed the little froggy. I'm just going to sell 
the daisies. Daisies are toxic to cats. Oh. We have 35 coins now. It is now 8 p.m. I think let's go ahead and head home. There's Coco. We have our temple now and we have expanded our influence to the square up here. We have fought in a cat fight. We have explored the mines. We have sold items. We have hunted. We have also lost a fight. And I think we've gotten a pretty firm grasp on cattails. I think we're going to end it right here. End this tale right here for today. You, I must speak with you. You think yourself mighty? You think yourself safe, young Paisley? What? Who is this? You are not welcome here, interloper. Leave these lands or face the wrath of the Wildwood? Your alliance shall suffer if you do not heed these words. Who is this? Do not test my patience. Be gone or beware. What? That was kind of creepy. <laughs> what a frightening dream. I should speak with the forest guardian at the temple about this. That was really creepy, but I think we are going to save this for another episode. We have done a lot for today, and I have thoroughly enjoyed getting a first look at cattails. I admit that although I'm normally not attracted to games with a story to them, so far, Cattails Wildwood is doing a good job of having a nice balance between story, progressing the story, as well as giving me just tons of freedom. I can explore, I can work on farming if I want, I can try to earn more money, I can go do the mining, I can try to attract more cats to my colony, I can go out and hunt and try to expand the map. There is so much to do much more than I anticipated. And it's just a very cute and cozy. You have so many different settings and customizations, not only the character, but also the hunting difficulty, the passing of time, you can adjust that. The options that you can adjust are really fantastic and I wish more games would include those. Let me know in the comments below what you think of our first look at Cattails Wildwood Story. It's a little too soon for me to give you my review of it, so look for that at a later date. But I'm really enjoying it so far and 100% going to be playing more of Cattails Wildwood Story. And I'm excited for its release and to hear what everyone has to say. If you like cute and cozy games and you haven't already subscribed, please consider doing so. And I thank you for watching.